A very good evening and welcome to State of Business, our television's prime time business news bulletin. I'm Madhusha Thavapana Kumar. Let's take a look at the headlines first. President bans use of polythene during upcoming election campaign. And Sriyani Vijay Vikram is sworn in as State Minister of Provincial Councils and Local Government. Now the story is in detail. President Maitripala Sirisena instructed the Central Environmental Authority to ban the use of polythene during upcoming election campaigns. The President also instructed authorities to strictly enforce the law against people who violate the above-mentioned ban on the use of polythene. The President gave these instructions during a meeting on streamlining waste management in local government bodies held at the Presidential Secretariat yesterday. The President emphasized that the process of finding solutions for waste management could not be postponed under any circumstance and instructed relevant authorities to inform him speedily if there is any issue in this regard. Progress of already implemented strategies such as purchasing of tractors, following guidelines for waste management and action plans at the national level for solid waste management were also discussed during the meeting. Discussions were also held regarding the current status of implementing cabinet decision regarding the management of using polythene and plastic. Attention was also drawn to the establishment of a proper method for clinical waste management at hospitals and for electronic waste management. Diga Marula District UPFA MP Sriyana Vijay Vikrama was sworn in as the State Minister of Provincial Councils and Local Government before President Maitripala Sirisena at the Presidential Secretariat today. Minister Faisal Mustafa was also present on this occasion. MP Sriyana Vijay Vikrama, who represented the joint opposition, recently met the President to extend her support to the policies of the President. The MP met with the President at his residence and discussed the political agenda exercised by his government. Following their meeting, she pledged her allegiance to the President and his political ideology. Let's take a look at more news after this break. Welcome back. CEO of Sri Lankan Airlines, Captain Suren Ratwatha, states that the next few years are likely to be more challenging for the airline industry due to the rapid growth of technology and innovation. Speaking further, the Sri Lankan Airlines CEO expressed his views regarding emerging trends in the South Asian region. Captain Ratwatha made these remarks during an exclusive interview with our television recently. The emerging trends in aviation in South Asia are twofold. One is the middle class is growing rapidly and one of the most aspirational aspects of middle class growth is travel. So we're seeing more and more people willing to travel, willing to travel in the region, explore and find new places to visit. That's a great trend. Also, we are finding that uh, there is tremendous growth on the digital platforms, how people plan and spend their money. So we are putting a lot of resources towards trying to address both those concerns. Find the people who want to travel and hopefully find ways to connect them through their devices to travel with us. Ran Salu 2017 National Handloom Textile Exhibition and Awarding Ceremony organized by the Ministry of Industry and Commerce was commenced in Colombo today. The Ran Salu National Exhibition is one of the unique handloom exhibitions in Sri Lanka which exhibits dramatic handwoven textiles crafted by weaving centers in different provinces of Sri Lanka. This year the event was inaugurated by Minister of Industry and Commerce Rishad Badiuddin. The exhibition was launched with the view to promote handloom products during the festive season. Many textile weavers countrywide involved in the handloom textile industry are exhibiting their products at this exhibition. Let's take a look at stocks after this break.
Welcome back. Trading at Colombo Stock Exchange ended on a mixed note today. The All Share Price Index dropped by 4.94 points to close at 6,352.10. And the S&P SL20 gained by 3.33 points to close at 3,692.56. The turnover was 345.4 million rupees and 16.6 million shares were traded. Next is Forex Reads. With that, we are wrapping up State of Business for the week. We'll meet you tomorrow with Bistron up at 7 p.m. Until then, take care. Good night.